Wake Up Call, St. Germain, January 6, 2015. I am here today to tell you of a change in government. I speak of government of the people and for the people. It is coming in the next few months and as it unfolds it will bring about not only a change in government but, a change as well in the whole of society on the planet. When I speak of the governmental change it is not only here in the United States, but all around the world. There are some governmental bodies that are in need of slight changes, and then some that will undergo massive reconstruction. As this is continuing behind the scenes as I speak we are seeing many changes in the way that it will all unfold around the globe. I am Saint Germain, and I bring this information to you because it will help to explain and verify the monetary changes that are at the threshold of the world economy. As this comes into being it will reverberate throughout all of the life on earth. Yes. All of life will be more in harmony and in protection than it has been since the days of the cave dwellers. Yes, I hear your chuckles as I say that, and it is good to keep our sense of humor alive and well through all of this for there will be parts of this whole changing of the earth system that could bring on doubts and wonder as to the validity of what is being presented. It will take some clear thoughts and inner knowing to believe some of what comes. We are all in the body of the changes. Therefore we all will take part in them. That is the only way it can happen, as you know, and we whom I speak of in that term of we, includes all of us who have been with you in our beingness. We bring to you the expansiveness in which you will return to yourselves, and in that you will find some familiarity that will give you that knowing that what we present to you is a reminder of that which you already know. I come on this day because it is a time now for all of you to trust your inner knowing and to follow what is coming at your doorstep that will give you the opportunity to find the inner truth that will guide you along the way. It has been quite a journey, has it not? As I speak through this one I feel the familiarity that she is enjoying of my energy and the information that she is conveying to all of you. It is a joy for me and for all who will be speaking through her and so many others in the coming times. It is also a joy to look forward to the times when we will be walking side by side together in the reunion of our souls and selves on the surface of this planet and within as well. As I close this message I wish to tell you that yes indeed there is coming a vast network of new realities that will spring forth and enable you to begin the newness of what you will be doing to enable Mother Earth to blossom forth in her beauty and love for all of you. The harmony in which you will all be as you continue your lives on her body will explode with a beam of light so profound and so intricate of beauty that you will realize the creations that you are capable of and the abilities that will come forth to create heaven on earth, as the phrase goes and will be growing even more. I sit back for a moment now as this one closes the message and welcome you all into the love energy that I am sending you in this moment of eternity. We are all family, and I so enjoy the reunion of our hearts as it is now and continues to be, forever and a day. Thank you so much dear Saint Germain. Much love. Nancy Tate Wake Up Call, St. Germain, December 3, 2014 It is a morning for glory. It is a morning for joy. We are making plans to come and join you in the very near future. As we ready ourselves and get into the swing of what we will be doing with you, it is a wondrous journey that we plan, and the magic of it is that there is no plan. We have devised a way by which we will be coming to you in the ways that you will be comfortable with. It is I Saint Germain, and I am so pleased to be speaking through this one again. I have been with her throughout many centuries and this one is the epitome of how we will be addressing that which we have been setting into motion energetically over the time span that we have been creating. First I want to tell you of the trials and tribulations that have been prevalent over the planet for so long. They have come to prove something that will be represented in your realizations, which are soon to be realized as the pathways to the light and love, which you have put aside in this journey on this glorious planet Earth. 
This planet was designed and created with the knowing that there would be an understanding when this coming involvement is about to become your present day reality. Yes, you will all realize when the doors come flying open to your truths that there has been reason for all that has taken place on this planet and throughout the universe. I came to this planet knowing full well what my mission was to be. When I lowered myself into the absence of realization of who I truly am, it was a wondrous awakening that came to me after my journey in duality was complete. I knew then what each of us were undergoing and still are experiencing. I knew as well that one day all of humanity would come to the place where I am, and would rejoice in every aspect of what you all created in this whirlwind of truth. Yes, I say truth because it is what we have created and it is what we have learned from. We have experienced that which we would not have even imagined would come to be if we had not stepped down from our knowing of who we are and what we have represented in the universal picture. We have opened up a wormhole that is now full of surprises to each of you as you awaken to the promise that you each gave to yourselves as you walked into this land of forgetfulness. Now you are at the pivoting point of seeing that which has been your journey through the land of forgetfulness, and how much of who you truly are has been with you through the whole journey. It will be an eye-opener for so many of you, and a remembrance for the rest of you. It will be the best movie that you can have brought to the screen of life forevermore. It will show you your power and your ability to walk through the muck and the mire into the golden leaves of autumn as they collect on the ground and crinkle beneath your toes. They will speak to you of the wondrous life that you have created in the energy of the Mishaba love and the expression of that which is in the works for you in the leaves that grow forth on the trees of life in the coming involvement. Yes, there is much that you will be hearing about, as shown from your own inner knowing. It will be the new realization of another facet of your involvement, and what it will bring you to be able to walk forth in the next aspect of your coming times. You have been told some of what I speak, and you will be hearing more and more of it as you awaken to your inner selves. You will know of what I speak when I tell of the Mishaba energy. The messages will come forth more and more of the love essence that emits forth from that energy that is sprouting forth from deep within each and every one of you. You will resonate with the information more and more as your knowingness comes forth in equal measure to the information that will be coming from various sources throughout the universe. It will be another source of what you already have within. And with the rising energy of creation building in your souls you will resonate with what you know to be truth. I shall end this message on this note. As you wander through the next days and nights to the respect and honor that you feel around you, it will be a new regime that will be forming for you. It will be endless and complete in every moment for every moment is complete in perfection. You are the creators of your world. And as you awaken more and more to that truth, you will go forth in the dance of remembrance and sing the song to the heavens and all of creation. Tally forth in love and light. Thank you dear, loving Saint Germain. Much love, Nancy Tate. Wake Up Call Rwanda, December 10, 2014 I am here today to let you know of some changes that are in the works. They are in the underground as yet and so they are not to be made public until all systems are in release enough for the changes I speak of to come to light. There will be an abundance of energy in many ways, physically and energetically. That is the result of the ability of not only us from off planet, but many of you on and within the planet to give of your energies of allowance. I am a peaceful conquistador of the physical realm, and I come to you in the energy of the coming times. I am known as Rwanda, and I will be with you as we go further into the flowing times of love. I lend myself to your growing strengths and join you in the essence of the Mashaba force, which has now reached the abundance of the love essence which has been in the works since the opening channels began to function in a way that is in keeping with the potential for all of you to be able to see what the future can bring and how you are creating the future in the moment of the now.
it is a new concept for some of you to be able to take into consideration that what you have created and experienced in the moment just past can actually be changed to suit the present moment. It is a matter of the whole picture being in flux in order for the newness of the energy of now to be an influence of what it is that you all intend as a whole beingness. This is what you are creating in the moment and therefore you are seeing in many cases changes that are unexpected or even not desired. That represents the whole picture of how it is all progressing in a way that becomes more and more harmonious as it evolves. This is the beginning of the manifestation of what each of you intends for your lives and it becomes more in line with what is being manifested as the whole of you come more into harmony. This is the in-between time that has been spoken of by many beings in the evolvement of the messages that have been shared with you over the years. It is a matter now of many of those messages changing in ways that show you how you are influencing your energies in a more precise way now that the changes are more in tune with what is destined for you. It is a matter of you all coming back more to your inner knowing of who you are and what your destined roles are that you have been playing and will continue to live in the coming episodes of what you choose. All of the energies are evolving now in ways that seem to be chaotic. That is because of the outflux of the old energies being released from the inner body of Gaia, just as they are being released from all of your inner recycling energies. As the oldest energies, which are more intense, come to the surface. They bring with them the intensity of what has been being held on to for so long. As the light and love within all of you becomes stronger and more in keeping with the love of the Creator within all of existence it is releasing, in readiness for the purity of the love energy of the original beginnings of the universal expression created by the Mashaba love essence from the first universe. This was the predestined plan for the furthering of what you will all be creating beyond the duality experience that you have been evolving through. There will be more information that will come through this one, and Anak Handa Mishaba, who is one of the original representatives of the Mishaba energy. You are all in keeping with what this universe was created for, and as you go on in the crested energies you are evolving all that was brought to the table, so to speak from the first moment of your existence. It is now the beginning of the new way of living, and that is what is bringing on so much of the chaos that is soon to be easing off. You are coming to a wondrous peaceful way of life and the new creation of your world. Know that you have the power to bring about that which is in the essence of love and the peacefulness that come with it in joy and love. Happy days are here. Live them and bless them. Know that they are the new horizon for the days of continuous, loving life. Thank you dear Rwanda. Much love, Nancy Tate.